Absolute brain size is not the whole story, as we found that our, our three tested crow species performed as good as great ape species, despite having much, much lower brain sizes compared to them. So we part of that replicated the 2014 study, this big scale study, which, which tested 36 species on the so-called the cylinder task. The cylinder task is, is an already established self-control or motor self-regulation test, which involves uh, showing the animals a reward uh, just behind the transparent surface. In order to reach the reward, the animal has to inhibit the prepotent response of directly reaching for it, because if it directly reach for, reach, reaches for it, then it, it bumps into the transparent cylinder. So it has to make the detour response instead, because there are side openings on the cylinder. So this is an easy, easy test to be implemented on many species, which yielded like this compared to data. So we could, uh, we also replicated this study with our ravens to see if they perform as good as the great apes. And they perform, ravens perform 100%, jackdaws and New Caledonian crows, other crow species also perform around 97%, which basically makes them their performance comparable to, to the great, great ape species tested in, in the replicated study. These findings, these similarities between crow birds and great apes has implications about how evolution really works, how cognition actually evolves independently from each other. How is it possible that two brains that are so different to each other can converge on, on, a, on a higher level when it comes to such tests of, of self-control or other tests which yield similar findings? It's, you have to love them. Once you spend time with them, it's, it's fascinating. Um, they, they're, you almost take them as, as a person. You don't at all see them as, as, as just animals. You, they all have personalities, they all have, they have their habits and they, they I always have like different relationships with every single raven individual.